All right, we are in business. After six months since Byleth released, we are in for a new character, hopefully today. At least we'll at least find out about them. Dude, it's been so long. Oh, look at that haircut, man. Oh, and the, so suave. the perfectly symmetrical pillows on either side. I know, right? That has to be one of the cutest couches I've ever seen. <laughs> wow, it's been a month and a half since he recorded. Yeah, I wonder if things have changed since he recorded this. Probably not that much. Yeah, but they've been sitting on this character for so long. They have. Have, they have. It's a lot of foliage he has in his apartment. <laughs> it is beautiful. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Ooh, they're working from home just like us. Just like everyone around the world. You know, when the last character released, we were all living our regular lives. That's true. Seems like so long ago. I've become a cave dweller since then. So, same old, really. <laughs> Dim yellow light of my bedroom has become the sun. He's like a troll, man. The troll under the bridge. I really am. <laughs> All right. Got some nice looking equipment. It really is. No wonder Sakurai sounds like he's beaming his voice directly into our brains. Dude, it's so crisp. <laughs> when we had that set up. He even has those, those speakers in the background. It's quite simplistic. It's minimalist. It is I wouldn't minimalist. call it simplistic. It is minimalist. It's elegant. Just like the man himself. Oh, Dual double screen. TVs, dude. He's living the life, man. Really look at those. Look at those array of consoles down there. It's crazy. He's the envy of gamers everywhere. Is he married? I have no idea, actually. Because that couch looks kind of small for two Yeah, it looks, it looks like a one-person couch with some room for pillows. <laughs> married to his job. Married to his plants. Yeah. Oh, are we Here about we go. to get to it? Yeah. Arms. Never, never seen that game before. We played this a bit together. I always thought this was a fun game. It died pretty fast, though. Yeah, I, I don't think it had that much longevity, but it was fun while we played it. Yeah. I'm curious to see how they translated it. For those of you who don't know, the way you fight in arms is you can literally punch with either controller, and each controller controls one fist. Yeah. He brought a spring on just for this. I love it. I like to imagine he already had the spring. Just grabbed it. Yeah. <laughs> Arms extend like springs. So I think we can expect this fighter is going to have some good range. Yeah. Another sure. another distance demon. People say there's a lot of range creep in this game. And it does kind of seem like it. Because Byleth has ridiculous reach. And I'm sure Arms is going to blow her out of the water. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I mean, maybe it's equal to her. Maybe it's like... A sword character, although I'd be surprised. You think if it was arms that is gonna be I'd be surprised if it was that little. <laughs> but if it's just a fire emblem character that they like put an arm skin on. <laughs> People oh, here we go. so angry. Oh, all right, hype. There we go. Oh, it's Falcon. They chose the best character in the game for this, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, Kirby, Kirby. Uh-huh. Oh. There's no way it's one of these two. It's too simple. It's too right off the bat. I feel like they always start out with a fake out, you know? They do. This is some nice animation, though. Oh, there it is. Oh, the letter. Someone's going to beat the shit out of him right now. And take it. Yeah. yeah there it is. <laughs> You're already an assist trophy, Spring Man. You're not getting in. Okay. That could be her. All right. Spring Girl. Oh, Ninjaru. He's the one I want, but he doesn't make sense because the game is 2D. And all of his moves are about curving. I suppose so. I feel like they could work it in somehow. Maybe. Oh. Ooh, all right. That seems like this, a pretty important zoom in. It does. Oh. Oh. Didn't know Falcon loved ramen that much. Oh. Oh. All right. That looks like, like Min it. Min, the ramen girl. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I would have been cool with any of these three characters, to be honest. Kid Cobra, Twin Tail, Min Min. Yeah. They're all good. I feel like all the ARMS characters are quite similar, honestly. Like, I feel like no matter who they put in, they, they would have played similarly. It's probably true, but I do feel like the some stage. of them are more generic. Oh, this looks cool. 
I love the cheering audience in the background. Wow. That Yo. Oh. Wow, that grab range. Oh. Wow. Jesus. Oh, she's changing her arm. Dude. Oh. Jesus. This looks. Oh, oh reflector. Reflect? That looks like a real move, too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I like how they brought in the assist trophy just to wreck him. <laughs> Spring oh, man. Spring I guess that makes sense. Oh, final smash. Everyone in arms. Yeah. All right, that was pretty hype. I'm curious to see how this actually works. Yeah. But it looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. Oh, Falcon. Dude, look at that get up. That better be a skin in this pack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it suits him very well. That the waiter boy. I would, I would rock that. You could try to. Hey, there's nothing wrong with serving some ramen. No, nothing wrong with it. Right. A haircut only to rival that of Sakurai. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta respect that. Yeah, I mean the guy knows what he wants. Yeah. Min Min or oh, they didn't must Ninja, do Ninja Ninja have been so dank. Why did they do it? I don't mind Min Min, honestly. I don't mind either, but Ninjaru, man. Everyone's the protagonist. They could have tried to do an alternate skin thing, like Hero, where each different color is a different hero. But, that, that's the kind of thing you would want to repeat too often. Probably a lot of extra work too. Yeah, I imagine. I feel like they say that every time. It's always super difficult to do. I'm sure it is. They've had six months to work on this, though. Yeah, I... It has been over a much longer time frame. Mm. Lighter fighters and fighters that excel in the air will be tough. That sounds like... So she's a very grounded character. Yeah. Sounds like what? Sounds like it might be not as good at the high end. Usually characters that are better versus heavies are like mid-tier but it's really hard to say without seeing more yeah different arms yeah it looked like she had different weapons to use. yeah she can definitely switch them all right that's jab oh my no, tilt. god it's tilt it's tilt no it's left arm it just said a okay but then he said it could be considered a tilt attack well let's keep watching Okay, she can move and do tilts. Right. Oh, she can jump and do tilts. Wow, full mobility. They really did capture kind of the essence of arms in that. Yeah, how you can throw arms out and move. And yeah, you're always stuff. dodging in that game, even as you're punching. Yeah, which is pretty oh, cool. smash? You can smash in the air, wow. Damn, that is new. You can bend it. Okay, wow. All right, tricky, tricky. Wow. You get some 360 no scope snipes with this. Yeah. You definitely could. One big difference. The B button isn't a special what? Oh, is it the oh, it's oh. the other arm. Oh, dude, that is sick. Yeah, that's a cool way of integrating the original arms control scheme i feel like they're very good at taking characters and keeping their core essence when they implement them yeah you really do feel like you're channeling a little bit of the original game although i think you feel that more with the dlc characters than some of the original yeah. cast i feel like you especially feel it most with nintendo characters wow she can shoot both directions wow in combo so every arm controls completely independently. I bet you can combo like hit one arm hit into the next arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a like a jab or a tilt into an, a smash or something at low percents. Yeah. Or even at high percents. Oh yeah, and you can use, just use one arm each. Yeah, exactly. Consecutive smash attacks, dude. Wow. If you time that perfectly, I bet you could hit both. Yeah. You could just absolutely murder someone. Yeah. <laughs> People are going to find some jank with this character, I can already tell. Oh, look at that side table. Dude, he has a controller in each hand. What a baller. What a god. So good. Alright, so it looks like the arms are completely disjointed. 
Like, yeah. clearly his attack is hitting the arm, but you don't take damage. Okay, so the hitboxes aren't huge. It yeah. looks like the spring itself isn't a hitbox. So yeah, it has to be the end of it. Yeah. yeah. Which seems fair. I mean, if you can shoot, hit that far. Yeah, that'd be insane. Yeah, seriously. She seems like quite a zoning character. She does, yeah. So far, they haven't shown anything that she can hit with up close. It all seems to be like further range attacks. Yeah. But we still haven't seen anything like up tilt, up smash, down tilt, anything like that. It's true. And she's not good against opponents who come in from above. Mm. All right. You can always just zone with both arms, though, <laughs> just yeah. guessing which direction. Just the constant stream of punches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this character seems very unique. So far, yeah. She definitely seems like she'd be hard to play against small characters. Oh, yeah, I bet Pikachu or Pichu would just get it on her easily. Yeah, like wreck her. Alright, up and down special, right? We haven't All right. seen these. Imagine down special is like the switch arms. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Alright. Good call. Good call. Thank you. It's like, okay. That's a nice animation, too. It is. You can only change one. Okay, so I guess one of them is always that dragon. Yeah. I wonder if you can change midair. I didn't quite see. I only saw him changing on the ground. No, I, I'm pretty sure you can change midair. Okay. Wow, that's got oh, some that's good space control. Tool. Yeah, man. It must hit weaker. But still. And then the other ones hit harder. But that is, that's probably like her best tool. I, it depends on the knockback angle. Like that could be really good for edge guarding. But if it sends him like straight up, then it's not nearly as strong. It really true. depends on the angle. Oh, and you can you can change the angle it shoots at. Yeah. Oh, so you can't oh, edge guard. All right. That guy got destroyed. Dude, that'll, that's going to mess with most of the cast. Yeah, that was, that was, it hit him on the return. I wonder if it hit him on the way out, if it would have a different angle it would send that yeah oh this is the chonky boy right. yeah <laughs> and original arms this was like an electric attack i think it, it depended right i thought there was more than one i'm not Perhaps. sure it's been a while since we played even the name implies electricity though uh, boom wow 46 percent jesus christ ridiculous dude we should duo this online <laughs> just spam that move no that would be disgusting <laughs> it seems like there's not even that much lag on these attacks you know like it seems like she can move around pretty soon after for how much okay. range it's actually yeah all right double the dragon Okay. All right. This seems like yeah. It's just you don't. But do the dragon has boxing. a projectile too. So I wonder. Yeah. Uh, all right. I yeah. feel like that one just got a lot better in my book. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Definitely. You can hit them literally across the entire stage. Like they can't even show where the beam ends. I have no sense how far that goes. Yeah. Wow, it's still going. Yeah, you can legit just stand on the side of the stage and edge guard people in the blast zone. All the way out. <laughs> her edge guarding is going to be ridiculous. It depends how good her recovery is, though. Like, maybe she can't go far out. That's true. That would make sense, honestly. Also, her ledge trapping must be really good because you can stand way back and you can hit, like, roll in or get up all with your arms. Yeah, and jump. You just throw out both arms at the same time. It's true. And cover literally every option. Oh, and the grab is so far yeah. as well. I wonder what people are going to be able to do with this character. I feel like she's going to be super entertaining to watch. I bet. I bet. Like the antithesis of Sonic. <laughs> Okay, so if you grab it, powers up oh, yeah, the dude, dragon. Oh, yeah, dude, you see it? Yeah, yeah. Arm. she grabbed oh, Wow, yeah, and the, the laser enemy. beam is... Yeah. I remember that from the original game, actually. She could power it up. I, like, vaguely remember. This stage is pretty cool, the background. I really messed this stage. I mean, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three different nares? Oh. That seems pretty good. And they switch depending. Yeah. Oh, so it's all the same, but I guess it's probably just different speeds. 
Yeah, that seems very useful. I wonder if that one kills the big slow but powerful. Yeah. It probably does. That's probably great for killing. Okay, so I guess A will always give you the dragon one, and then B depends on your own. If that makes sense. She has kicks too. How many moves does this girl have? Yeah, dude, this is like ten all over again. Oh, this is this is so like this is a jab. It's like the jab, basically. Yeah, this is right, so she has a, a jab. A rapid jab. I think I saw a gentleman too. Like the oh, one, two, three. so she has both. Except instead of like the one two three jab, she has the she hits an arm out. Yeah. Up tilt. That looks pretty good. Pretty good hitbox. Wow, that's fast. I thought that would be up smash. No, that, that is, is that is up smash. I see. Up tilt and up smash look a little similar. They do. Special characteristic. Oh, wow, okay. they just threw a reflector onto her <laughs> up smash, which looks very quick. It does. I bet that's a very good kill move. That. But the thing is, that up smash, it, it actually, it's interesting because you can't reflect in the air then. She can only reflect mm, on the ground. That's a good point. But still, I mean, if you get a reflector, you don't have to take up a special move slot for it. That's, that's a clear, easy win for you. It is, honestly. I mean, hell yeah, I would take a reflector any day over not having one. Yeah, easy. Down smash user. All right. It looks pretty sick. I do like having a double hitting down smash. Yeah. Up there. It looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of an arc, which is nice. Yeah. Dive kick. Okay. I don't love dive kicks. It's not ideal. I like having a spike. Yeah. It's just another way to kill yourself off stage. Yeah. <laughs> Very good at that. <laughs> yeah. But that said, I, I could see why they didn't give her a spike. I hope oh. that the, the down air actually does spike, though. Wow. This looks like a pretty good wow. recovery. It's, she, wow. She goes so high. Yeah. I would have thought they'd give her a tether, but like this is some some insane stuff. Yeah. This is just crazy. I, you'd think she'd like reach her arm out or something. But. Yeah. Wow. That seems oh, so you really strong. Faster. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't put you in free fall. You could probably air dodge too. Yeah. You have in invincibility. It's like Joker, Arsene, up B. Alright. Wow. It's good to know. I wonder how good it will really be to use to get away from people. But for recovery, that looks really good. I wonder how fast it is. Like, if it's a get out of combo type move. Wait, using it in midair makes it an arm. So, oh, it's, a, it's a tether? Oh, oh, it is a tether. All right. Okay. That actually seems like it has quite distance, honestly. It's, it seems looks like it's Byleth. about Byleth, which is not crazy, but it's not terrible either. Byleth has a sick recovery. It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. Wow. They're really getting mileage out of these tether recoveries lately. They are. They do love their tether recoveries. They should go back and fix the original ones like Ivysaur. It used to be if you were underneath the stage and like not on the outside of it, then tether just doesn't hit. Like if Ivysaur is underneath the stage, even a little bit, he won't hit the ledge with his tether. Yeah. But then they fixed it later and didn't implement it for him. Just like how they fixed everyone's jab except Samus's, man. <laughs> that was some shit. That's that's a it's a feature, not a bug. Oh, it kind of works though, because people adapted around it. But I still wish that just worked. Yeah, jab Samus jab two isn't a true combo from jab one. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay, Spring Stadium. Looks cool. All oh, right, okay. It's a little bit like the King of Fighters one, except it's not a walk-off. It looks, I, it looks kind of cooler. It does look cool. Jumping platforms? This is pretty cool. Imagine if this was tournament legal. Oh yeah, this is, these jumping platforms look very tournament legal. They do. Very <laughs> skillful. <laughs> You'll damage opponents when oh, you make wow. contact with right. them. That's cool. Just piling that jank on. Oh, you can hit these? I'm not sure. Striking. Yep. Oh. Wow. All right. This is never going to be legal in a million years. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the, new, the new Evo Grand Finals stage. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what difference hazards on versus off makes for this stage. Yeah, I wonder if it just turns off the jump pads. I'm curious. Oh, they have little drones that bring items? It's yeah. Cool. That definitely seems like a hazards off would, would remove thing. Yeah, maybe. Whoa. I'd be curious to know if it's tied to hazards or items. Yeah. Covers everything. This character looks crazy. She has so many tools and so unique. Yeah. But she also has glaring weaknesses too, which makes it quite interesting. Yeah. Oh, we can see the gameplay. We do. 
But even her weaknesses, like she's supposed to be better when the enemy is farther away and worse when they're in her face. But even then, she still seems to have like a pretty fast up smash. Wow, dude, already 40 damage. Wow. Yeah, she's just railing. These computers don't know what to do. No, they don't. <laughs> They hadn't put in the computer patch yet to play against this character, so Sakura <laughs> would look good. <laughs> Boom. Oh, wow. Right. This is sending them all the way across the stage. Dead? Oh, there was a jump pad down in the right. Did you see that? No, I missed it. In the blast zone, yeah. That's what saved Kirby. God, this must be like a level 2 CPU. Double dragon. <laughs> Level 8 CPU? Wow. I think the CPU just doesn't know how to deal with characters that are that far away. Mm. Yeah. Just run at you. I love how even Sakurai doesn't use level 9, because they'll just like parry anything. <laughs> just wreck you. He he knew he'd get embarrassed. It's true. Wow, that was a nice little uh, follow up. Hit him as he tech. Yeah. Ooh, Kirby stole her power. Oh. And he's dead. Serial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, comboed. Team combo, dude. Sakurai just got shit. destroyed. Oh, he died, too. All right, one uh, life for everyone. It's a close match. It oh, he's Thurston. He, is. he wants that kill. All right, let's see how this final smash goes. He's going to try to get the Falcon. Yeah. Boom. It's a pretty stylish looking one, I'm not going to lie. This guy's 150%. He better be dead. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I wish they showed Kirby using her arms. That, that's always fun to see. Yeah. This final smash looks impressive, but it's always yeah, kinda it does nothing. crap follow up. You can send him anywhere. I mean Kirby's already so high tier they wouldn't want to break him. You know? yeah, give, oh, him good point. give him a, a top tier F smash. <laughs> I mean final smash. <laughs> Kirby's kind of moving now. Oh, yeah. Nope, not anymore. For like two seconds. Man, that seems so hard to get in on if you're not coming directly from above. Yeah. Wow. He just comboed the Ram Ram into the Dragon Laser, which looked pretty cool. I wonder how much shield damage she does, because they haven't really showed that. They showed it a little bit. It didn't seem like it was that much, but I guess it probably also varies depending on what type of arm she's using. I'm sure that heavy one must yeah. do some damage. Yeah, it's true. Flow of battle. The flow of battle never goes against Sakurai. Yeah. Even when he's double wielding his controllers. <laughs> I'm surprised he wasn't playing the CPUs at the same time, to be honest. Yeah, it's true. Playing player one, two, and three. I love how he says it's shockingly high without being shocked whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was. You did rack up that damage. It was like 500%. Oh, 18 18 tracks. Tracks. I would say ARMS has some pretty solid music all around. It's pretty hype. Yeah, it is. I'm excited to hear it in the game. I am too, most definitely. I also feel like this would just be an awesome map to have in Final Destination and Battlefield version. Mm -hmm. like seeing the crowd cheer for you and all the background stuff. Yeah, getting some sick tunes going in the background. Yeah, I'm excited. Seeing your ass get spikes in the background. Yeah. You're not going to be spiking anyone with this character, though. Uh, it's true. Maybe Suicide Spike with a down air. Yeah. I wonder if she bounces off if she hits it. Mm. That's a good question. I would guess no, but who knows. Yeah. Alright, June 29th. I was really hoping <sighs> that it would just tell us it'd be ready today. I wanted it today. I would have been on that. Thurston for this ramen girl. <laughs> <laughs> Was that it? Oh, no, PG Me Fighter. Alright, now let's get to the real presentation. Yeah, man, I've been waiting all day for this. They've had some some low-key bangers with Sans. Yeah, Me Fighters. Cuphead. I'm kind of curious, honestly. They're building this up a little bit. They always do. Oh, oh alright. That's Ninjara. That's cute. That's cute. Your fave. He got in. He got in. You he made did it. get in. <laughs> Your dream was granted. It, it was. So I'll play Min Min. You can play Ninjara. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Tekken. Tekken. All right. Oh, what? Oh, hey, Hachi. <laughs> That's kind of dope, honestly. This guy's got such a werewolf vibe. It's like a better Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Splatoon. All right. For those. What? That's disgusting. Like the announcers. This is gonna be Cosmos' new main man. <laughs> <laughs> But they haven't had a, a truly shocking one yet. No. Nothing, nothing on the level of the Sands. Yeah. It's true. Oh, yo, this? this is Fallout themed. This is look. how they announce all Fallout stuff. Yo. Oh. Vault Boy. Damn. This okay, like I did the, not expect that. This is like the fake Fallout. This is like the Fallout Mobile Vault. Next, they got to bring Skyrim to Smash. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That's all. That was a pretty decent list of Mii Fighters, though. Dude, that was, I hope they have anything more. I'm enjoying myself. But, dude, F Vault Boy, that he, is... He looks so strange, but also so good. He does. <laughs> per always. Yeah. <laughs> all right, June 29th as well. Okay, okay. It's pretty great. Uh, yeah. It's cool also that it means Bethesda's working with Nintendo, maybe little more likely that there's some other Bethesda character in the future, who knows? Be pretty cool. I wonder who, which Bethesda character that would actually throw in the game itself, though. Mm. Can't really think of any. I mean, you could start with a generic Skyrim or Oblivion protagonist, give them some magic. I don't know. There's a bunch of ways you could do it. You could do kind of a level up character where as you use a particular type of move, it gets stronger. That could be interesting. Maybe. But it would be hard to it's balance. It's hard to balance. Yeah. yeah. Look at that trash final smash. <laughs> <laughs> the star. The Cuphead deserves the victory. Exactly. Wow. A lot of people that play Spirits mode will appreciate that. I don't think I've ever. I've probably played that mode like once ever. Yeah, it's true. More about playing against other people in spirits but it's a nice nod it is it is like it for sakura has got every single spirit yeah. 13 out of 14 13. i'm sure he pulled some dev hacks i don't know man <laughs> i feel like he would have just sat down and beat it old school i bet i bet he just had them all unlocked from the get-go <laughs> All right, pretty cool. I feel like this presentation's winding down now, though. It seems like they've gotten the important things out of the way. Yeah. All right, rematch anyone you want. Interesting. Cool. Right, we'll probably never do that. Yeah. You better not show this whole Ooh. fight. Okay, up smash does 24%. Right, wow. Whoa, whoa, her, her right, tether just hit cool. someone. Yeah, that tether is a hitbox. Wow. So it's not like a grab at all. It's, it looks oh, like it's yeah. a kill move. Yeah, wow. look at that. So she's actually hard to approach from the air a bit as well. A little honestly. bit, yeah. If, if she jumps, she can just tether you. Yeah. It doesn't seem like that like grapples you or anything like Joker. It just hits you, but still, I mean, she, she has an option for hitting you, which yeah, is nice. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder how much her grounded up B will feature into her game plan. Yeah. Because for most characters, you don't want to be above the enemy. You don't want to be getting juggled. It's true. And she especially doesn't seem like you'd want to be on a different Y axis than the enemy. Yeah. But still, they gave her a whole different up B for when she's on the ground. So did. Clearly, they think it'll, it'll help. They did. Alright, I think now Sakura is just showing us. All his hard work. He is. <laughs> He's just showing off at this point, honestly. Yeah, he's like, look at all the things we put in our game that yeah. I've personally unlocked. Exactly. <laughs> They're tough targets. Oh, he put up the arms poster, actually. Oh, in, in the between. background. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a pretty cute. nice one. He, he loves doing that. <laughs> Interesting. How to do a team record. little how-to guide, a wiki how for Smash. I think people did complain a bit about certain fights. I think, yeah, this fight especially is notorious where you have to defeat a bunch of enemies before Polly will appear. Interesting. From what I remember. What? Wow, okay. I don't All know right. what just happened, but he that was really easy. He had a gun, really dude. He shot from across the map. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> 
Man, this is like cheat mode. <laughs> this is, what? This is the worst how-to guide I've ever seen. Yeah, it's like how to cheat the mode that we created. Yeah, it's just like keep respawning until you get an item that one hits them. No, it's not respawning. It's put on the spirit so that you start with that item every time. Uh, I guess that There's not even a ch an element of luck. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I thought it only right. kills above 100. Well. Oh, it's probably after the hit. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Black hole. Man, Sakurai, the ultimate cheese master. <laughs> <laughs> Place a super launch star, then lure him in. This basically all just seems like counterplay. I think these are specific spirit battles that people that probably complain. Yeah, yeah, I think people. so too. So but he's like, yo, you guys. Showing how to cheese it. Exactly. It's not hard if you just have these specific spirits. Yeah. I wonder for the people who put a lot of time into beating these legitimately. Without they, spirits. Yeah, if they feel a little sad at how easy this makes it look. Yeah. Because <laughs> some of these are legitimately very difficult fights, and then he just <laughs> hits them both with a giant <laughs> bean sword and they're done. Legitimately. Multiplayer spirit battles? Okay, sure, sure. I don't think that's new. I think he's just reminding people. Yeah. We've never really done that, honestly. No, we haven't. Amiibo. Uh, Amiibo. Okay. Must be uh, some DLC, Amiibos. I guess. Because all the base cast is released, right? I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it must be DLC. What if they drop a Min Min Amiibo right away? Yeah. <laughs> Before the characters even released. Yeah, right. It's the only way to play her. Yeah. That's how it get them sales, and people would, would hate them. It's true. <laughs> Both of those are very true. Oh, he hit it behind the plant. Oh. That looks pretty nice, actually. I like the blue. Yeah, that's a effect. really well done depiction of Joe. Yeah, it's the flames from when he hits his counter. Yeah. But even that pose and stuff looks pretty dank. Yeah, that looks like an actual figurine mm -hmm. that people would pay for. Yeah. Do you think he cleaned his room for this presentation? I think he just lived like the, this level of cleanliness. What if it was just like an absolute pigsty? I refuse to believe it. I, I don't believe it either, honestly. I feel like he'd be completely anal about organization and cleanliness. Mm -hmm. Oh, what else is behind the plant? Yeah, man. It's like the other four or five DLC characters are all just there. I know. They've actually revealed every upcoming DLC as well, just behind the plant. Yeah, there's posters for each of them. <laughs> Alright, we don't know how many more amiibos are coming. I guess that's it for now. Oh, a little bit off topic. topic. Yeah. Come on, give me some, some Falcon stuff. The voice of Falcon. Ryo Horikawa. Oh, what? Vegeta. Dude. I had no idea. He's an absolute baller. Oh. I didn't realize that, honestly. That's crazy. They've never recorded new lines for him They're over 15, 20 years, whatever it's been. They're just so iconic, yeah. That's insane, honestly. I know, I, I couldn't even tell. The Falcon and Vegeta are the same. In fairness, though, well, we do we do play with the English voices, and they're probably talking about the Japanese voices specifically. That's true, but I, I couldn't tell that... Uh, no, the, the voices are the same. No. They talk about the Blue Falcon line. Oh, uh, right here. True, but I, I'm not sure. I still think that English has a slightly different version of it. Because I, I read somewhere the minor spoiler that it was the voices were the same, but hmm. something like that. Anyways, it's crazy also that they almost had final smashes in since '64. I feel like the series would be so different if it was there from the inception. Yeah. Whereas now I feel like because it came in a later in Brawl and a later time, people feel like, oh, we can turn off. And it's not really part of the core gameplay. But if it had been around from '64 on, people might think it's more a part of the core gameplay. It's true. To use final smashes. More. It's true. I. It, it is really amazing that they almost put them in '64. Yeah. No one ever would have seen it coming honestly like especially in hindsight 
you know, Final Smashes seemed like something that was just tacked on to later games, but knowing that they've been thinking about it for years definitely changes it. Yeah. Right. Five more DLC. I mean, if they make them all as cool as this character looks, I am excited. This was a great trailer. This character looks super unique. Yeah. I know a lot of people in the community weren't crazy about ARMS, but I mean, I feel like they really did this character justice, and I think it'll be, seems like it'll be a lot of fun to play. I think so, too. Definitely. Hopefully the next ones are Sly Cooper and Master Chief, but you know, <laughs> holding my breath. Yeah, maybe Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Who knows? But no matter what we get, I just hope that they're fun to play. Yeah, exactly. Looks like we're done. Thank you, right, Daddy Sakurai. Damn. And thanks to all our viewers. Yep. Until next time. Till next time.